Alright everybody, welcome back to the Morpho Project, and uh, today, um, we're gonna fix this tree. <laughs> it's not gonna be a surprise there, but uh, yeah, uh, today I actually have read, like, what, uh, 70 pages, I believe, of the manual? Yeah, lots of reading. Um, sorry about the whole black screen at the beginning, <laughs> I miscalculated the time, oh well. It happens sometimes, you know, you cannot do everything right. So, uh, yeah, today we're going to be fixing this bad boy. So we're going to fix this whole damn shenanigans of garbage. So first things first, we need to grab this boy. And then we're going to also grab the 75. Uh, we're going to go for 60, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So. First we need to... Up this so that we can, uh, so we can see what the hell we're doing. So we have this, which is good, and then we have this one right here. Yeah. So what we want to do now is go down with it. So that's what we're going to be trying to do. So as you can see, if I now would have colored in with this screen right here, I can, you know, casually work around with it. And you can see that that is how it works. So we don't want this size, we want like this amount of size. Eh, probably. But we do not want this one. This one is, uh, ah, there you go. No, not yet. 60 then? Yes, 60. Alright. Um, we want... We want this one, we want that color right there. Yeah, 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 there you go. Nope. There you go. So if we now add this into it. That should work, right? Yeah, it does. Good. So that's what we're gonna do. So what we're now gonna do is actually add some more color to the uh, tree itself, and then hopefully, you know, after that, after that whole tobacco, we can then, you know, call it a day. <sighs> it's good to be back, you know, being better, being alive, you know, being the, the goddamn, you know, flu. Goddamn flu, I really, I really don't like flus. They make your nose all wet and sticky. And are a pain in the ass to deal with. And I mean like really pain in the ass. <laughs> To deal with. So, um, right now we're working on getting this bad boy up and running. So if you now zoom out, you can already said, see that the tree is already getting some uh, effect on it. You know, the, the tree bark, the bark is getting created. And that's what we are aiming for. We want to create this bark. We want to create this tree looking like effect. We don't need, you know, a static uh, tree. We don't need that. Who needs a static tree? And I'm very happy about that. That we're getting to the point where we want to be in the first place. Because sometimes, you know, these things can go a little bit out of hand, a little bit out of touch. And we have been away for, like, quite too long with the Malfa project. Tomorrow I will be working on the uh, another facial expression. Hopefully I will be able to finish it at night time. 
So that's gonna be a thing. Again, you know, things that need to be done. And then Wednesday, I hope uh, to be able to work on the Mothlock again. Because it's a very fun little thing to do, you know. Working on the Mothlock, creating the effects, creating the scenarios that you need to be doing. And then, you know, work, work your way up. Work your way up. It's no better way to say it. Work your way up. Because not right now we have trouble with, you know, the tree itself. It's it's not fully, you know, the way of how we want it to be. It still has some issues left behind. And to fix those issues, you know, we need to, you know, work on it more and more and more. Right now we're trying to create the tree box skin that we have uh, what, that we have achieved for quite a long time. You know, this, this whole damn thing that we had to be doing. So today we're going to be giving it more alive, more natural feeling. And some say like, you know, but uh, how do you do that then? Well, you know, you have a light color. You have a light color that's right there. And we have the part that we have right here. So if I would draw here, I won't because I have the alpha on. But if I want to draw here, I can as well because the alpha is on. So what we want to do now is just, you know, create the light parts into it. And then once we are done with the light parts, we can follow it up with the dark parts. And of course, we are avoiding the scratchy. We're avoiding the scratch right there. That's, um, it's like not middle of the screen, luckily. So I'm very happy upon that. But yeah, there is a little bit of a scratch. I, uh, when, because I was sick, I, uh, I overvalued, I overvalued my, uh, uh, nails. Apparently, nails are very sharp. Not very good when you're trying to remove something and you push too much force into it. And that's what happened. So the screen is a little bit damaged. Well, it's not damaged. It's more like, you know, there is a scratch mark on it. Oh well. Very annoying when it is a touch screen, but not very, not very noticeable. So that's good. So yeah, we're working on our way to get ourselves the thing that we want. We work our way to create the feeling of a tree. That's the idea. And the more we do this, the better we get at it. And the more... Uh, don't work on the line strike. And the more we do this, the better it gets. And you can already see that, you know, the tree is getting more... Alive and I'm a, a more it it gets more quality the more you do this, and that's the fun part about the tree. You know, it's the tree itself. You know, it was a, just a bland color right now. You know, it was just a little seedling, and now it suddenly it turns into a beautiful flower. Even though it's just a tree, what wood? Oh no, wood cannot be a flower. Well, too bad. I have seen wooden uh, wooden flowers, and they look pretty because there has paint on it. Duh. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was a very silly joke. Uh, that is one of the most silliest jokes I ever told. Cheese. It's even more cheesy than just, you know, a cheese burglar. A guy who just steals cheese. But oh well. And it is more, and it's more silly joke than uh, blood damn hippos with monocles and top hats. Yep. Flying hippos with top hats and monocles. That's what I have been growing up with. And you're probably asking, like, what the hell were, were, were I smoking? Well, I was not smoking. I was literally playing uh, Age, of, Age of Mythology. Having fun little... Um, having little fun with the cheat codes. Oh, man. Those cheat codes rule. Like, you, you, you could expect things to happen. But you could not expect a flying hippo with... Wings and rainbow trail behind it. It was hilarious. That game took itself not seriously, and then it took also itself seriously, which is great. It was a fun game. And lots of you online community back then. Until they shut it down, and then they revived it again at Steam, so I'm very happy upon that. Because I like the, I like the old tower defense games, and the, uh, the idea of tower defense in the first place. And the MORPG element in it. <laughs> it was quite great. Alright. Now look at that. Look at the tree. Now look back to me. Aha. Uh -huh. 
You can't, because I have no camera. All right. Well, the funny thing is now, technically, um, I have been, you know, working on uh, on this Moffat project now for almost two years. And, uh, you know, it looks already pretty good. And we're just halfway there, so, you know, we just have to do one more. You know, a lot of trees, but once this is all done, I can call myself like, yep, I made this. And I think Hex will be also very happy once this thing is done. He will probably cheer. Yeah. And then I will give him a cake and say like, Congratulations! Your Marfog is done. Here, have some cake. Although then I need to go to Sun, then I need to find a cake that I can send through mill. Hmm. Well, there is no dish there is no good cake to send through mill. Probably gonna be sending a cake through email or ordering a cake and then send it to its address. That would be a very funny way to do things, you know. Buy yourself a cake and then send it to somebody you like. Or, well, you know, a friend. <laughs> and then people would ask, like, why did you send me a cake? And I would look, I know I would say, like, because we're friends and that's what friends do. They send cakes to people. But why a big cake? It's like, well, it's an accomplishment, isn't it? And I wanted to celebrate it with you today because, you know, you're the one you're the one that's gonna get it. So therefore, you know, a celebration is an honor. It's a milestone. And milestones should be celebrated. Well, at least, you know, that's what always happens, like, in my uh in the place where I would normally work, you know. Um back when I had like when I worked at another company, they always had they always had like on Wednesday they always celebrated with cake, with pie, and I always be like, "Why are you eating pie?" And then they would say like, "Why not?" It's like, well, that's a good reason, but still, why? <laughs> and I always was wondering like, why would people eat so much pie? And I would say like, "Huh, if they eat so much pie, would that not you know?" be a very good reason to eat pie. Eh. I think I lose the point here, but the point is, you know, you should be celebrating stuff sometimes, you know, even even if it is a little bit of an achievement only for yourself, you should celebrate it with friends. Like, you know, if I would make pie, if I would, if I buy myself some pie and then say like, hey, guys, I finished this, and then people would say like, congratulations, and it would be feeling more of an achievement. Therefore, you know, you're motivated for your next thing. Duh. Well, maybe the duh would not be that easily, but it's a duh nonetheless. It's a duh. Alright, so we have this. And now we need to get the dark color in there. We need to get the darkness in there. Darkness. Now the question is... Should I or should I not put this on a different layer? Just in case, I will. Why would I do this? Because that way, if I make a mistake now, I can just remove it. That was the main mistake I made the last time. And I'm going to be making that mistake twice. Oh well. Anyway, uh, let's get started. So, as you can see, right now we're achieving the ability to create bits. Bits, nooks and crannies into the wood. We're creating that little bit of... Uh, you know how you say that robust kind of feeling, the uh, the woodiness, the woodiness, there you go. You want to have this wood feel like it is already old, you know, you want this tree to be like a big tree, full of mighty wood and water. Therefore, you know, you should definitely add some water in it, but, you know, trees do leak water. Apparently, you know, if you cut a tree, you could actually make it bleed. Well, what would you make a bleed? Well, probably you're gonna make it bleed water or something else that is a substance that holds the water. For instance, bamboo, uh, very fun fact, holds a lot of water. So you can technically remove the water there and then gain lots of uh, lots of fluid back into your body. So if you cut it, if you cut bamboo, you could, would definitely get uh, some water out of it, which is quite fascinating to see. Like you know, wait, what? Bamboo holds water. In those big giant baggins, yeah. And then after that, you can use it as a teacup. I don't know. Bamboo is very versatile. <laughs> you can make things out of it. You can use it as firewood. 
and you can use it to boil water and you can use it as a water source which is uh, very funny to see like you know you know that cactuses have water but uh, apparently bamboo also has water the only not downside the only fun thing about bamboo is it grows everywhere and i mean like everywhere you don't want to have bamboo in your garden or at least you know you don't want to be lazy when you have bamboo in your garden because the next thing you know the car the bit your neighbors are going to com be complaining about why there is bamboo in their in their garden and why they cannot remove it because you know you were lazy <laughs> ah bamboo and lazy people never gets old we have bamboo in our garden. We had to remove the whole garden to get the bamboo out. That's why it's called bamboo. Boo. Boo bam. Boo. You're not supposed to do that. Boo. You know. Bamboo. It's very bad. It's a naughty, 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 naughty plant. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that sun. I don't know if that sums up, up all the plants there are, but. Bamboo is one of those plants that is like, ha ha, I have escaped. Now there will be more than one bamboo, and you will be bamboozled forever. It's like that evil villain that just, you know, has all the plans, all the cards in hand, and that knows everything, every plan you try to plan. It's a very, uh, very fun thing to do. But uh, yeah, cool plant. Absolutely horrendous to uh, absolutely horrendous to get out. It's almost as worse than the uh, climb up. Uh, how do you say that one? Climbing up plant. Climbing up plant. Does that sound right? I think it's called a climbing up plant. I don't know what the word is for that one on English, but it's the climb up. Uh, let's see what the word is. I'm gonna just look it up because we have Google and therefore I can type it in. Um, Google. Translate Glim up the Glim up Ivy. Well, that's a word I didn't know that it was supposed to be. All right, it's an ivy. We have ivies. All right, we had ivies in our garden too. So we had bamboo, and then we had ivies. Then we wanted to remove the ivy fence. And oh boy, my nose was not up to snuff there. Because ivy fences, they grow as good as bamboo. And I always thought that ivy was like, oh, that, that, that plant won't have like roots inside of concrete. No, that's no way. And then you, you pick up the roots and it's like, why are you in the concrete? Why? Why are you here? <laughs> ah, ivy. That's a very fun word. I didn't know that that's supposed to be ivy. Oh, well. Well, we had ivy. I normally, you know, when we use the word ivy, we don't reference it to ivy. We actually reference it to a very poisonous plant. That's... I always thought that poison ivy would be like, you know, a very poisonous plant that you had like wheat. That you had to be, you know, wheat... Uh, had wheat removal for. Apparently not. Ivy... Poisonous ivy would be then a very poisonous climb up. <laughs> That sounds like a very scary plant. Yeah, and that makes it that makes the superhero even more scarier. You know, being like a very horrendous person that just you know beats people up. But apparently, that poison ivy is combined to a very hot woman, so therefore, it's a bit confusing. Well, you know, you could not resist ivy anyway because you know it's always in your garden, so therefore, meh. French use it too much. Probably, probably, you know, it's French. Probably it's a French thing, you know. Sexualizing a plant. Poison, uh, poisonous ivy. Yep. That's probably just the French thing. <laughs> uh, French people. I love it. I just love it that you can just make such jokes. Like, you know, I can make jokes about my own country as well. Did you know that we are very patronized? We are literally just people that are screaming like, Yeah, our king is the greatest! Well, you know, our king is the greatest, but you get the point. We really like our country. We really like, we really like orange. Even though that's technically not in our flag. And then you would probably like, say like, what? 
why it's not in your flag if you're using it so much. It's like, well, we had it for our soccer team, and therefore we still need it. All right? We had orange in our flag, and then we removed it somehow, because nobody likes the lion on the top, and so therefore, you know, it's now the football uh, I, uh, icon instead. It's like, all right, make up your mind. No, we don't make up minds. We are just doing our job. Uh Look at that. Mm-hmm. I like this tree more than more. The more I look at this tree, poof, the better I see that it is a tree. And the more I do this, the better it gets. Therefore, you know, the tree will be finally achieved. It will be a tree-tastic experience. Look at that tree. Look back to me. Yeah, there you go. Who's a good tree? There you are. That's a good tree, isn't it? And we're only 6.2 gig. We went from 7 to 6, so therefore, you know, we have some spare spare parts leave, laying behind. And the more we do this, the better we get at it anyway, so therefore, you know, it should not be that harmful. Alright, we're gonna look at this tree, and we're gonna look back at it. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, that's, that looks decent. That looks decent. This part right here needs some more coloring, I see. Yeah, yeah. We do need to put this a little bit more in there because, as you can see, there are some issues here and there about this tree that, you know, the uh, coloration issue here. There is some color issues, so we should definitely add some more tree effect on this part right here. And we should definitely add some more uh, darker, darker colors in there. So... We have already that we have this, all right. We have already that we have it, but we just need to implement it a bit more. There you go. And the more we do this, the better it gets, so no worries now. All right. Boo -boo -boo -boo. Man, oh man. How much time have we already been spending just talking? Oh, 23 minutes. Well, that's a new new record without, you know, losing any focus on it. That's good. Alright. Uh, we have now this. Yes, this looks so much more better. Now we just need to add some more lighter. Should we? Yeah, we should add some more lighter parts down. So we should get rid of this one again. And we need to, so we need to get this one again. And then we need to add it a little bit more lighter. There you go. There you go. Now it's getting more alive. Jeez. How long took it you? Took you way too long, isn't it? Yep. Trees these days. Absolutely horrendous things to go for. You know, you win the first thing you first thing you see is like, you know, oh no, this tree is coming alive, and then you know the second time you, you see the tree it's like oh it's dead on the arrival. Why? You know you want you want you want this tree to be good. You should definitely add some more variety in that tree. Yeah, there you go. We have some no variety in there, so therefore you know it should be fine. Just, you know, that we need to add some more, uh, darker ideas. There you go. There you go. Alright. Now that's more tree. Good. Now that we have the tree, we can now press the button, right? We can now press the button of the button, right? Where's the button? There it is. Press this button. That looks nice, I must admit. But we do need to fix it. Because we didn't fix it. We just made it a little bit worse. So... 
Mm. Let's get down to business. Alright, let's get down to business. There you go. All right, it's more like it, but we could also remove it, right? Yeah, we can. So we don't don't need that one. We don't need that. All right, we're first gonna be saving this bad boy because that's important, and then we need to remove some bits and nooks and crannies. All right, let's remove the. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I see. First thing first we need to remove is this bit right here. And then we need to add some more on that part right there. That's removed. We need to remove our roof. So we need to grab the old fashioned one and we need to remove it to 514, I believe. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a hard one, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Because we need to do two of them. I need, we need to do first this one and then we need to do the second one because the second one is the uh, shading one that I have been lacking around, isn't it? Yeah. And right here there is a lack. Um. Alright, where is it? This one. And that should be fixing it then, right? Oh, it is. It is fixed. All right, good. And then we need to go back and put everything back. So we need to put this back. There you go. And now we need to fix the light part. So this one right here we need to fix. Which leaves behind this part right here. And then we need to also use a blend tool to fix the uh, bits leave, left behind from it. What we're doing now is just, you know, get remove of the nooks and crannies that we left behind. Uh -huh. Of course, you know, it's sometimes, you know, a little bit hard to do, but uh, it should be fine. Now we do need to grab the uh, blend tool because we need to also fix some bits here and there with this one. Because nobody likes this kind of look. 
more tree. It's absolutely horrendous. There you go. All right. No, 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 yes, no, 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 all right, yes, all right, yes, ah, where did that one, where did that one go? No. There you go. Now this should work. All right. Now we need to unlock this and casually remove this bit right here. There you go. And that will fix it. Alright. And now we're going to put everything back. Welcome back. Alright. This one, this one we need, this one we need. All right, we need to grab this one and we need to get some colors in there because we do need ourselves some colors. And why do we need some colors? Well, we do need some colors because there are some bits here and it need to be. Are you? Kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? All right, what is going on here? Yes, where is that stupid treating? There is a white mark here that I don't like. No, all right. Mm-hmm. Why can't I draw here? So, what happens? Because I cannot draw here. Yes, I cannot draw now. All right, there is something here fishy going on. There is a bit of a hassling. Uh... Ah, transparency, transparency max, eh? Oh, all right. So we need to remove this transparency and we need to do it again. All right, fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. So we're gonna put that back in. Now we're gonna put this on slow reward, and then we're gonna add a transparency mask. 
And now we're gonna use this one, the soft remover. Add a transparency mask. Uh -huh. No, no, nope. Oh, this is going to be a long one, isn't it? Uh, come on. No. See here I can do it just easily, but but the other part f f What the All right. Let's... Uh. Ah, all right, so that's how to do it. So if I screw up, I can just recall. Nice. Oh, I finally learned how to do that. So, n remove. Back in. Ah. So the mask gets reversed. Interesting. Yes, yes, yes. I can now pinpoint the idea. A little bit difficult, but uh, you know, we can just pinpoint the things we want without any problem, and then we can just, you know, go like, whoop. there you go, it's all back now, boy. All right, so now we can say, like, aha, yes, yes. Now we can put this back in, kaboom, baby. And then we can see, like, ah, well, there is some more here that I need to remove. Fine. Eh, eh, there we go. And there you go. We have now far more cleaner vision of the thing that we had before. With no shenanigans. Meh. Ish.
All right, uh, we have the tree completed. Well done, me. <laughs> that one was a big one. That one was a chunky boy of doom. Now the question is like, well, we do have one done. Is that important that we also have the second one done? Yes, it is. So um, next time we're going to fix the other one. So we're going to fix big chunky boy on the right. Because apparently it is not looking quite well as it should have been. My, on my, it's my mistake. I'm fully responsible on that one. I lacked. Oh well, you know it happens. And then tomorrow, uh, well the day, well not tomorrow, but the day after that, Wednesday, I will be able to do that. Then Thursday, I will be starting with some grass. Um, then I will start with you know fiddling in the background a bit to see where I want to have the second tree on. Or the third tree. All right. Um, I think I will leave it here. I'm very happy upon what I have achieved for today. I'm very happy to show you people that I have achieved building a tree, giving it a little bit more of a leeway, making it look cool. So, you know, our end goal is not yet here. We're still waiting for our end goal to arrive. You know. We need to do, uh, let's see where it is, where is it, no, 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 this is our end goal, you know, we want this whole forest to be alive, this is our end goal, this is what we're gonna go for, but first, we're gonna add some, uh, uh, lovely little stuff in the background, so we're gonna go draw a line, you know, this way, like, like so, we're gonna draw a line right here, um, we're gonna draw a big giant chunky line right here we're gonna draw a line so we're gonna draw right here and then we're gonna draw from here out we're gonna draw this this bit up so we're gonna start and then we're gonna draw like you know grass everywhere because we can we're gonna draw grass like so whoopity 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 and then once that is all done you know we can then add the trees that we want so we're gonna add some trees in the background right here Add a big chunky tree right there, like that. And then, you know, put some trees in the background. And then, you know, fill it up so that it goes within space. And then, whoosh, you have depth. All right. Um, I think that's all that I need to explain. Uh, that Wednesday, we're going to fix our little boy right here. Our thick boy. Or am I was forgetting something? No, I'm not forgetting something. No, I'm not. It's just that, you know, sometimes the dark colors are a little bit too dark. Well, I'm going to fix it later. But right now, it's all done. And I need a, I need a refreshing look on it uh, Wednesday. So, uh, we did well. We completed the second tree. Now we need to fix the first tree because, you know, I lacked on it. It happens. So, um, I hope you all have enjoyed. And thanks all for watching. And I hope we'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you a lovely day. And, uh, bye!